jerking off in the bathroom. Yeah. Anyways, uh, welcome back to another video. Before today's video begins, I kind of wanted to just say, look at Graph. That's how many of you aren't subscribed compared to the ones that are. And the ones that are, thank you. And the ones that aren't, subscribe right now. Please, please, please. It helps. Please, please. My channel icon is Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. And, you know, I'm a huge, huge Cowboy Bebop fan. Literally every person I've met, I've told to watch this show. Because it's that good. And it's my favorite anime of all time. Yeah, recently some shots from the Cowboy Bebop live action from Netflix came out. And they dropped it to tease and to hype up the show. Because the show is dropping in November. Which I will be watching. Although I can't really say I'm excited. Shocker, I know. Let's just be realistic here. Let's be honest here. Netflix does not really hold a good record of good anime adaptation. Death Note, for example. What the fuck was that? I have seen the rumors and I've seen the news about this show coming out real soon. And it's a lot closer than I thought it would be because I didn't think they were going to drop it this year. I thought they were going to delay it till next year or something. But yeah, um, it looks like it's coming out November. I don't think it's going to be like as bad as people are making it out to be. Um, I just think people are really like iffy since Netflix fucked up Death Note. And well, let's just say, let's just be honest here. There's like no such thing as a good live action anime except for maybe detective pikachu but i i don't really consider that an anime it's more of a video game adaptation but we do get the point we have screen captures of the actual show which we can see the full cast except for one person that everybody's been pointing out is ed now here are my personal takes on ed i didn't mind ed as a character in the show but uh if they don't do ed in the live action it, it just kind of would be weird without her because uh, they, they kind of need her to like get certain stuff throughout the show. So it's going to be weird how they would just like not throw her in there if they choose not to. We got the rest of the cast. We got John Cho as Spike Spiegel, which for some reason everybody's making a big deal out of like he's too old or whatever. I don't give a fuck if he's old. Man, still looks fine as- <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I, th I actually think John Cho as Spike Spiegel is fine. I mean- I prefer, yeah, I, honestly, I would have liked it if it was a younger guy in his 20s. John Cho is actually an amazing actor. I've seen his movies. He's amazing. And like he said, he's trained hard for this role, which you can see it in one of these screen captures. Hold on, let me pull that. Bam, right there. See that? Look at, look at those abs. Look at those abs. Look at this sexy man. I beg your pardon? Like, like I said, I don't have a problem with John Cho as Spike Spiegel. I think he's going to do an amazing job. For what he's been given. So people are making a big deal because they made Jet Black. Doesn't matter if he's black or not. But yeah, Jet being black has is not going to ruin the character. At all. And it's not Netflix trying to be woke or anything. And I think he's doing a hell of a good job as, you know, Jet Black. Wait, did they... Did they cast him? They cast a black guy? Because his last name was Black. <laughs> Next character that I want to talk about is Faye Valentine. Faye Valentine. Okay, so a lot of you know by now how I feel about Faye Valentine. You know, ultimate waifu on the tier list or whatever. But the live action counterpart right here, people have a problem with. And I am going to keep it 100% with you. Like I have this entire video. I do not have a problem with the version that they're doing with this Faye Valentine. I really don't. Like, yes, they could have done the actual, like, outfit from the anime. Like, you know, because, like, there's a shit ton of cosplayers that do it like it's nothing. But honestly, I understand why they didn't. And I'm okay with it. it even the actress had to respond out on social media, which I kind of feel bad for. They're giving us so much shit, even though the show hasn't come out yet. And to be quite honest with you, I still think she's really pretty. I, you know, she's pretty fun. She could beat the fuck out of You gotta be ashamed of yourself, nigga. Real talk. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. That's not just me being down bad, okay? I I actually think she's really pretty. You all leave me alone. But yeah, she's been getting the most shit on social media. And she had to, like, come out and just respond to it. It was pretty bad. And, uh, yeah. I understand, like, not everything needs to be a one-for-one one of the anime. If they want to change shit up, they can. 
I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited, but I have, you know, like, I'm on the fence of, like, I don't know if this is going to be good. I'm not going to, like, have high hopes. I'm just excited for it to be finally coming out. And I think the casting for Ayn, by the way, fucking perfect. Like, they kind of chose a better fucking... That's my little thoughts on this. Uh, sorry, this wasn't a video I'd usually do, but I also wanted to talk about this a lot. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video, and comment down below what you guys think about this show. Even if you have or haven't seen it, if you haven't seen the show before, go watch it. I highly recommend it. Definitely worth the watch. I'll see you guys again on Monday. I'm going to start doing double upload next week.